So the value grid is an extension of the value chain. So let's draw the basic uh, uh, value chain, the primary functions, inbound logistics, operations, outbound logistics, sales and marketing, service and margin. Now the problem with that is it assumes that everything is linear. We're going from there to there directly. But the reality is that most of the times we're integrating with uh, other value chains, so for example, the postal service, which will have its own value chain, inbound logistics, operations, outbound logistics, sales and marketing, service and margin. And the simplest linkage uh, to that would be, for example, to say that whatever comes out of their uh, company comes directly to us and then begins from the beginning of the chain, which we know isn't true. But already we have two linkages. We have number one there and we have the number two there. Uh, so already we have two linkages that we can optimize to increase value. And uh, when you closely examine the, uh, uh, the linkages between those two firms, you'll see that there are lots more, uh, let alone the linkages from other companies that um, uh, you're doing business with. So that is the basis of the value grid. We go over that in great detail in the uh, more than 150 video lessons which you can purchase uh, uh, from the website. And uh, so that's more than 150 video lessons. We don't just go over this model. That uh, will co be covered in a few of them. Uh, we go over more than 150 critical business models uh, in total. So... Uh, uh, once again, you can purchase it off the, um, the website. And this is a number one, by the way, in red. That's not an L, that's a number one. So VA, the number one, UE, hyphen chain.com.